coming up on this episode of Let's Play Kotar. Hello, hey, it's a server. It's a, it's a Jawa server. Why would you bother with Jawa? No, I just, who is Do you miss me? You gotta take it. No. Ah, oh, man, they talk really fast. I barely understood that. Here we are in the cantina, boys. Check it out. Oh, they got live dancing girls. What you think about that, Carthy? I don't want to talk about it. All right, he don't. He, you know, as usual, Carthy don't want to talk about it. All right, Basila. Well, uh, your mom's in here somewhere. Helena, that's it. This is her. Holy shit. Yeah. I'm sorry. Do I know you? I'm here, mother. But don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Do you know how long I've been trying to find you? It's been 84 years. You knew as well as I communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. Now what is this about? Where is Father? Then you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, Bastila. <gasps> he dead! That is part of the reason why I was looking for you. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? Oh. Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already she's flinging insults at me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? Oh dear. Oh, I love how this this woman literally looks like Bastila, but just with a few more wrinkles. Uh, well, I mean, what do you expect? It's her mother. Um, well, my mother is long dead, if you must know. Is that so? Well, I'll be joining her soon enough, I suppose. I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? Such sweet things, you say. Ah, perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I hadn't realized Jedi was so spiteful. Hmm. You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition, do you? You want to blame me for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for Crate Dragon Pearls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine Desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced... Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a Crate Dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. Oh my... I see. So what do you want from me? Credits. You don't be insulting. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it. Is it too much to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me. Huh. My goodness. You know, honestly... Whether or not Basil's mom did any wrongdoing in the past, that doesn't matter at this point in Basil's life. She's got to learn to forgive her mom. You know, she's got to let go. Yeah. You haven't forgiven her. Have. Go and forgive your mother so you can overcome her nature that's inside of you. Uh, wh whatever the case may be. And I think if she was close with her father, she should want to go try to find his body. I mean, it's true we're on a mission, but like, don't you want to find your father's remains, Basil? What remains would there be? Great dragons are huge predators, easily able to devour a human, and the desert is a harsh environment. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his holocron. An ignoble end to a fine man. Jeez. She might be right, but... I don't know. What about your mother's sickness? It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, mother? What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you won't have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response I would expect. Very well. We'll look for the holocron if we have time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People Enclave. I would check along that route, dear. Do please hurry. Basil agreed to consider her mother's request to locate her father's body and recover his holocron. It should be out in the Tatooine Desert, likely near wherever the Crate Dragons exist. Though Basila did not promise that she would give her father's holocron to her mother, 
even if she did find it. Well, we're going out there anyway to hunt sand people and to look for the star map, so if we do come across her father's body, I mean, I guess we'll decide what to do with the holocron then. Still, though, at the same time, I'm not, I'm not going to go look for no crate dragon. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking to get goddamn eaten here. I don't want to get anywhere near one of those things, so <laughs> I don't know about this. So who else is in this cantina? Who's this guy? Well, now, what can Gandraft do for you? It's been a while since I've had anyone bother talking to me. I saw you down near the track, didn't I? Or, or, or was that someone else? Huh. I've been distracted by what happened on Terrace. Oh, yes, what happened on Terrace was quite the shame, my good man. But I was at Mata's, yes. Uh, can I ask a question or two? Sure, not a problem. Might as well try to pass along some of what I know. <laughs> My racing days are pretty much done. Oh, this guy used to be a racer. <laughs> I want to ask about you and racing. Yeah, here we go back to the racing questions again. <laughs> but why not? So you were a racer, huh? Tell me about that. Ah, something I know. Well, well, something I used to know. Um, my racing days are behind me. A Gandroff is the name. Okay. How long did you race for? Oh, well, past my prime by any measure. I started late, too. Not like the kids out there now. Some of them are too young. Hmm. Too young? Why do you think that? It's a cutthroat business. I, I, I've seen some of them burn out after a year. They get dangerous and don't live long. That's not everyone, of course, but, but it happens. I'm a has-been, I'll admit, but, but dying while you're on top is still dying. I'll pass. Jeez. And then you got Mata. You know, huts, huts like Mata trying to goat you into a bad deal. <laughs> Luckily, we helped Nico with that. Let's see what he knows about the other racers. I don't, I don't really talk to any of them. I, I know Zara's from the circuit, and, and we couldn't ask for a tougher lady. <laughs> She's a smart, too. <laughs> I, I, I don't know the younger guys, but, but I've been watching Nico. Uh, good to see someone doing it for the love of the race. Yeah, good old Nico. And what would you say makes Nico different from the others? I don't know, but, 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 but some people just, just have something that lets the bike take them. It's, it's like the air stops pushing back. I, I think you know what I mean. When the wind decides to stop fighting, hmm? you felt it. I, I can tell by your times. Yeah, there is something about swoop racing with me that it's just it just feels natural, right? Yeah, some people just have a natural talent for this kind of thing. I guess I might be one of them. Probably has something to do with the force, though, too, with me. <laughs> the force definitely helps with swoop racing. In fact, it might be an unfair advantage, but that's a talk for another time. Let's go back to my first questions. All right, then. So I'm looking for something. Who would you say knows the planet best? Mask me again in a few years and it'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably not going back out on the circuit. There is one. Yeah, but for now, for now, I, I, I don't know any more than the next guy. Well, you, well, you should try the locals. Jow is maybe. Funny little guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> It, se it seems like everyone we ask this question, right, they always say, oh, go ask the Jawas, oh, the Sand People. So it's like, I guess that's who we got to talk to. I don't know about the Sand People, but we got to try to hit up some Jawas soon, I guess. All right. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I'm going to be leaving. Uh, keep safe. Yep. Yep. Seems like tough times are coming. It does seem like it. Oh, there's a Jawa right over there. Hey there, Mr. Jawa. <laughs> Well, that's a lot of freaking help. <laughs> that went about as well as I thought it would. Well, a fresh face for the game. I wonder, would you care to play? My name is Furco Nellis. My vice is Bazak. <gasps> Where have I heard this voice before? His voice is very iconic, you know what I'm saying? But... Um, <clears throat> this must be the guy that our Pazak buddy at the lodge was talking about. I want to ask you some questions. Ah, I'm sure you do, but I won't have answers. I leave other people to their business, and they leave me to mine. Really, you'll have to seek information elsewhere, but if you want some recreation, I've cards ready to play. <laughs> this guy's only interested in Pazak, I guess. You must have an opinion about what happened on Terrace. Must I? An opinion would draw attention to myself. The Sith have shown what happens to things that draw their attention. Hmm. All right, then. Let's talk bizarre. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Would you care to wager on a game? <laughs> I'll play, but, uh, what's the wager? Well, since you have never beaten me, we'll make this for a paltry 50 credits. 
No bargaining now. This is serious. To be fair, I'll use my practice deck as well. I don't want to scare you off, you understand. Oh my god. Alright, you know, 50 credits. It's not much, but uh, I guess we gotta really whoop this guy before he'll start wagering higher. Let's do it. <laughs> Very good. Now, don't worry if I beat you too harshly. It is a learning experience. This guy's got no idea what he's in for. It's time to do 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 Alright, let's see if this guy plays as good as he talks. Nine, five, hmm, he's getting a little lucky. Seventeen, that's kind of rough. He might just win this first round outright. Yep, yep, yep. You know what, I'm not standing for that. Minus four. Oh, oh, all right. We got a hand deficit though. As I always say, it's not good. But uh, we'll see what happens. 15, 21, 18, all right. 19, standing. Two to nothing. This is good, we're in a good spot. Oh, he's got a 20, he's got a 20. Oh my goodness, we're getting lucky. 19, I'm standing on 19. Come on, come on, what you got? Oh, he's gonna tie it up, look at that. But he's only got one card in his hand. 18, he's standing on 18. This is like a guaranteed win, guys. This is a guarantee. Never mind. Holy shit, a 25. You believe that? All right, come on. 18, he's standing on 18. 19, we win. Would you like to have another round of Pazak? I mean, I don't want to say that it was beginner's luck, but you should play again to truly get a feel for the game. Uh-huh, right. I'll be back in a bit. All right. But remember that there isn't much fun on Tatooine that isn't life-threatening. Come back if you like a game. <laughs> that isn't life-threatening. He's probably right on that. Hello? Hey, it's a server. It's a, it's a Jawa server. Why would you bother with your Jawa noises? Who's my favorite Do you miss we that are taken? No. Ah, oh, man, they talk really fast. I barely understood that. We that are taken? Wait, are some of your people missing? Is this interesting? Not from your kind. No, is this thinks otherwise. Speak to him if you are acting and pretending. I can't understand your accent. Hmm. These Jawas sure aren't the trusting type, are they? No doubt, with good reason. Well, for once, I'll agree with you. Huh. You two agreed? Somebody mark this day down! Kellas are tired of giant speed. Might as well slave to the cafe. So you trade. So what is that if no help is given? Huh. So if I got that right, some Jawas are missing, and we should talk to another Jawa called Izzes. Izzes? I don't know. I, I guess we'll do that later, maybe. Something you want, Spacer. Go talk to the office if you want to complain about conditions here. I don't want to hear it. Oh. You swoop racers. What? Do you even know what it takes to run an outpost like this? Oh. As long as there's flat ground, what do you care? Oh my... <laughs> hey, I'm not only a swoop racer, buddy. But, uh, I got some questions. Don't give me any trouble. Trouble? Why would I want to make trouble with you? This planet has more than enough as it is. Right. So you're not much of a good spokesman for the Zerka Corporation. Like I said before, I don't much care what you think. I'll be on the street if business keeps dropping, and it will. Well, come on, just some questions, buddy. You, you got any time? All right, then, make it quick. Okay. So, uh, I'm looking for something. Who knows the planet best? Nobody we brought, that's for sure. Our expert said this rock was supposed to have mining potential to last for years. Nothing but garbage or good for nothing. You ever try to sell someone garbage? My name's Mud in three systems now. My name's Mud in three systems now. <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty funny. The guys in this canteen are a riot. Alright, well, I have to leave then. Uh, you, you take it easy, you know, good luck. Good. I have a lack of business to attend to. <laughs> it's a shame for these Zerka guys, you know, yeah, they're they're really uh, going down under. The sooner I get out of this dust bowl, the better. Alright, here's the bartender. Maybe we get ourselves a little drink, a little jury juice, you know what I'm saying? Give me a jury juice. One fresh jury juice, a local favorite. I hope you enjoy it, sir. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Huh? Who are you then? Only new people that come to Junix Nards Cantina are long-time losers and bounty hunters. What? I don't have to tell you why the two don't mix well. Oh. Please keep any blaster fire to a minimum. To a minimum. <laughs> I want to ask about things here on Tatooine, if uh, that's okay. What, did some Zerka promoter tell you to come to this planet? I pity you if you were expecting a prosperous mining outpost. But I pity the fool 
Nothing here but sand and more sand. There's a little hunting and racing, but nothing that'll make a small man rich. What are you talking about? I did the racing and it definitely made me hood rich, so... But I guess the racing bonds don't normally sell for that much. You know, we got the hookup with Savan, baby. We have yet to go hunting. Tell me about that. You got a license there, don't you? Yeah. Faz's Lodge will be open to you now. Nothing more I can tell you about hunting than his lot won't. And since you got that license from Zerka, you know they look for bounties of their own. They're the ones with credits to pay and interest to protect. Right. Let's go back to my first questions. All right, then. Just keep it brief, will you? I got customers. Mm-hmm. Anything, uh, out of the ordinary happening around here? I suppose you're fishing for a reaction to the destruction of Tyrus. That's all anyone from Offworld is talking about. Well, I'll tell you, it's about time someone kicked the Republic in the tail and got things moving. What? I guess the Sith are the ones that do it. Don't get me wrong, all those deaths were horrible. The war gets the money moving. Maybe they'll decide to fortify us out here. Jeez. It's quite the hot take this guy has. Quite the hot take. But it is uh, a very sad truth that war does get things moving. Like, technologically speaking, you know, and like without war, stagnation happens real quick. It, it is true, but it's very horrible all the same. Well, I was kind of talking about things more local, actually. No. But, th no. No, you don't know, or no, you won't tell me? Just no. I don't look for trouble. You'll have to talk to people yourself if you want more than that. Now, uh, if you don't mind... Guys, I present the smallest text box in KOTAR. Like, the, <laughs> it's just no. <laughs> uh, it's, it, it, it's amazing. It's a sight to behold, you know? All right, then. Uh, I'm going to go. See ya. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Maybe I'll come back for a drink later. Yeah, nothing on Tatooine to get the attention of the Sith. That's right, nothing at all, huh? Hey, Bubby, I'm ready for another round of Pazak. Hello again. Would you like to have another round of Pazak? I just said that. I'd like to try and win back my money. Uh. I mean, I don't want to say that it was beginner's luck, but you should play again to truly get a feel uh, for the game. Friend. All right, listen, bud. I'm, I'm totally down. What's the wager this time? You have some rudimentary skills. I think I'll use my second best deck this time and up the stakes. How many decks does this guy have? 200 credits will be the wager. I trust you will have the money on hand. Well, of course. You're on. Let's have at it. You won't be so eager in a moment, I promise you. His second best deck. Get the hell out of here. I don't know. I don't know what the point in having all these different decks is, you know? Hopefully we get lucky. Oh, we could beat him here and keep the hands even, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay. Might We might lose here. We're, we're probably gonna lose. Yeah. All good. He's got a hand deficit now. And we're one for one, so... We are technically in the lead, boys. Uh, 16, ooh, 23. Okay, look at that. Eight. Oh, I don't like eight. I don't like eight right off the bat. That's bad. Four. 16. Oh, this is, this is not good. It's not looking good for me. Ooh, 18. We're gonna stand on 19, boys. Let's see what he does. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Giving him little baby boo-boo cards. He's getting lucky as hell. All right, what we got? Come on, 14, 15. Oh, I, you know, I was thinking it. I was literally thinking it in my head, guys. I was like, I'm going to get a 10 and go over. Watch. And and look at that. It happened. Six, all right. 14, 16. I'm going to do a minus one from now. 19. Oh, my. Wow, guys. Um, hmm. We got to hope for either a two or a three or a one, a one, two, three, one of those. And, and we got this, we could tie it up, but otherwise it's over. It's over. Would you like to have another round of Pazak? You son of a bitch. I'll be back. All right. Oh, you, you, you know what we got to do, boys? You know what we got to do? <laughs> Time to save scum it up. Ah, you're back. I hope I didn't scare you off with that loss. 
hard blow, but that's the nature of the cards. I don't want to say that your single win was a fluke. Perhaps you'd like to play again. Oh my god, <laughs> this guy is something else. What's the wager? 200 again? 200 credits will be the wager. All right, let's do it. You won't be so eager in a moment, I promise you. All right, round three, baby. We're getting back our 200, and then we're gonna beat the socks off this guy. Standing on 18, huh? Oh, I took the chance and we got it. 18, mm. We're gonna stand on 18. Maybe he'll use a card. Yep. Got the hand advantage. We got the hand advantage. 17, 17, mmm, I don't know about 17. I'm just gonna go. Oh my god, we're getting lucky. I mean, luck is the name of the game, baby. Got a huge hand advantage now. 18 again, uh, we're going. we're gonna stand. We're gonna stand, we can afford to stand. Oh, dude, guys, this is, we're winning this one. He's done. He's done. I may, I may have gotten unlucky in the last game, but this time, probably should have just stood on 19 again. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. I should have just stood on 19. I should have. Oh, well, it's all right. It's all right. Plus four. Boom. 20. You gotta match it. You gotta match it, Bobby. It's the only way. It's the, look at this. Look at this bullshit. There oh. Oh, tough luck. Would you like to have another round of Pazak? Yeah, just give me one second. I gotta go take care of something. <laughs> Save scumming is the way to go, boys. Hello again. Would you like to have another round of Pazak? I'd like to try and win back my money. Yeah. yeah. It's only fair, after all. You have won against me twice. But I still think I can teach you a thing or two. Mm. You know, I'm starting to see why our Rodian friend uh, wasn't too keen <laughs> to verse this guy. He's, he's literally the exact opposite. He plays for the money. He's not playing for the fun of it. What's the wager now, huh? Well, you have proven quite the opponent, but I think the time has come to end this. Oh. You will not win again. I usually only use this deck at tournaments, but I think you're worthy of it. Shall we say 500 credits on the outcome? <gasps> 500, dude. Wow, that's, uh, that's a wager. It's not as much as Savam wagers, but it's still pretty damn good. Bring it on. Yes, well then, 500 credits on the line. <laughs> Here we go. This is gonna be a good match, boys. Let's do it. Ooh, starting off strong with a one. Okay, oh, and then a 10, of course. You know, it's just my luck. Oh my God, he's getting all these small numbers. 19, you better believe we're standing on 19 round one. Okay, 17, he used a card. He used a card, that's a win in my book. Small numbers, small numbers. 15. Let's just go. Let's go for it. 16. He used a card again. Oh. We could tie it up, and we'd still have hand advantage. Or we could let him take the win. Tough call. It's a tough call. Because if we let him take the win, then we have a huge hand advantage, and we could just snowball our way to victory as he runs out of options. But at the same time, I think it's just safer to... Yeah, to just tie it up, not get another loss, you know? Because then all he'd need is one more win. Oh my god, I keep getting all these big numbers, dude. 19, okay. Let's stand on 19 again. Oh man! I'm telling y'all, this is quite the duel right now. Quite the duel. 12, 17, 19, he's got 19, 22. Now, we could tie it up or we could give him the win and we would have a huge, I'm talking huge, hand advantage. But again, I don't want him to be in a position where he needs only one more win, you know? I really don't want that to be the case, so. Uh, and we still have the plus one and the plus six, which is good, so. We could have rolled again and tried for the one, but it probably wouldn't have happened. Come on, come on. 19 is last card, everybody. Look at that! Lady Luck smiling now. When you're in this position, guys, where they have no cards in their hand and you have like two cards left or more, it's almost a guaranteed win with Bazak, and that's what you want to go for. Look at that. One more we win. 15, 12, 19 standing. He needs a 20. How 
How lucky can you get? How lucky can you get, man? Oh my god. If we Guys, if we lose this, I swear to Christ. I swear to Star Wars Christ, guys. Praise him! Oh my god, minus six. Alright, come on. We gotta stand on 18, we got no choice. Oof. Guys, this is- it's come down to this. It's the final battle. It's the final freaking battle. We started off strong with a two, so that's good. Hopefully he gets a big number. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Seven. Big number on his side. Fifteen. Sixteen. Hopefully he just goes over and we win. It's a 50-50 right now, you know? It's it's a 50-50. If he rolls a five, that's bad. Anything lower, he's not going over. But if he rolls a six or a seven or an eight or a nine or a ten, he's going over and we win. So 50-50, let's do it. Yes! Hoo-hoo, doggies! Would you like to have another round of Pazak? However, you'll understand if we don't have any wagers, I... I respect your ability too much to insult you by betting on you losing. <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's real clever, dude. That's real clever. Uh huh. Right. Goodbye. Stop by any time. I'd like to visit my money. <laughs> All right. So he's the he's not gonna wager no more, guys. We beat the socks off him. Oh my goodness. I think I earned myself a drink after all that. You again? What is it now? Man, this bartender really doesn't like me. You got anything for sale? Zerka Corporation only worries about keeping their own stores full. I don't have much on hand. Well, he's got some real expensive med packs. Uh, huh. I wanted a drink and he's selling weapons and shit. What in the world? A craft blood blade? Oh my goodness. What are these weapons that he's selling? Bothan quick draw pistol? An unconscious opponent is a quiet opponent. This weapon is a Bothan favorite designed to create opportunities. That's, that's pretty cool. We all know how them Bothans like to be real sneaky. Selling a hair trigger, that's nice. I'll, uh, we're so loaded, I'll buy it. It's only 150. And a plus four, minus four. You know what? We have that minus four in our deck. It's like the last card we need to replace. So here we go. We got a plus four, minus four. And I'll take one Juma Juice on the rocks, buddy. Oh, and uh, get one for my mans over there. Basil, you don't drink, do you? I'll uh, take that as a no. All right, drink up, Carthy. To your health, buddy. You know, Karth, and then I told her, I, sa I said, you know, if you if you really want to use that battle meditation, I got I got a place you can use it, you know what I'm saying? I said, uh, 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 and then, yeah, and then I respectfully uh, continued uh, to swing my sword at her, and we had a good training session. It was very good, you know, it was, it was great. It's not easy becoming a Jedi, Karth, it's not easy. Hey, waiter, give me another round over here, man. Another one, too, for my man Carthy. Oh, uh, Carthy, you're not looking too good, man. You all right? You, you okay, Carthy? He's drunk. Come on, come on, Carthy. We only had a few drinks, man. You, you can't be this drunk already. Oh, 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 shit. Car Carth, he, he fell. Oh, no. Uh, uh, screw this. I'm still having a drink. Uh, Baba, Bastila. Oh, I think, I think we had too much. Oh, man, that Juma Juice is stronger than I thought. I think Karth's waking. Oh, oh, Basla, you're gonna have to drag me out of here. Oh, I can't, I can't feel my legs. Oh, Ready. at least Karth's getting better. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, starting to sober up a bit. I think, I think that's enough in the cantina. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Gee, whew, the, the lights. Oh my, oh those suns. And it's dark in that cantina, guys. My eyes had to frickin' adjust. Oh, look at this nice little courtyard out here. Hmm, I'll have to check out some places. Bastila, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then, I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? I mean, would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Huh. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. 
I mean, it's true. I talk about this a lot. Uh, that, you know, it was much deeper than just the Mandalorian uh, threat, you know? It was... It, Wait a second. What? What is it? Just me, or is my guy like on super speed right now? Is is that the? Is this the Juma Juice? Has, has the Juma Juice infected me? Acknowledge drink. Did Did anybody hear that? Am I hearing voices now too? What the hell is in that drink? <clears throat> anyway, but yeah, it was definitely deeper than the Mandalorian attack. Uh, definitely, guys. Come on, you know, come on, cards. You got to be based about this. You know, the Jedi knew what they were doing. Okay. And, and, and look at that, and then Revan turned to the dark side, you know, because he went off and did all that stuff, and Malak too, and, and, you know, this is what I'm talking about, this is what I'm I'm still high on the Juma Juice, guys, I am high as hell. There was something lurking out there, something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing, just let the Mandalorians conquer us on a post? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer. And the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Why is Bastel looking so harshly at me when she says that? Yeah, right. And every single one of them would have been speaking Mandalorian. I, I think we're done here. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Hmm. Well, sorry there, Big Iron, but I'm going to have to agree with old Bastilla on this one. Yeah, that's a whole other big topic for another time, guys. I, I, I do see the wisdom and what the Council did. I mean, they were kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, though, like, to be honest. So it's a, it's a whole thing. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to cut it here. Um, in the next one, we're going to, I guess, check out this courtyard a little bit. I mean, those are the main gates over there that lead out into the desert. So pretty soon, yeah, I think it's going to be time to head on out. Oh, the droid shop. This is it over here. Okay, we're definitely going to check that out in the next one. That, that, that weird-ass alien a few episodes ago talked about some kind of translation droid, but uh, I don't know if I really need one of them. We'll have to see. But anyway, again, thanks for joining me, guys, on this episode of Let's Play Kotar. This has been Ragebox. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as always, for more outstanding Let's Plays. Until the next one, me, Carthy, and Basil. We'll catch you later. Peace out, guys.